world generates more and more data with each passing second. It is highly important for data-driven businesses and organizations to analyze this data and generate useful insights. But this raw data is of no use as it gives out no information whatsoever. So how do we make this useful? The answer is ETL which stands for Extract, Transform and Load. In order to support integration across transactional systems, operational data stores, MDM hubs, cloud and Hadoop platform, ETL is actively expanding. The increase in unstructured data has made the data transformational process more challenging. ETL pipelines enable systematic and precise data analysis in the target respiratory by converting raw data to conform to the target systems. ETL pipelines are crucial for data-driven companies because they enable faster insights and data migrations by removing errors, bottlenecks and latency to ensure a smooth movement of data from one system to the next. These pipelines save time and effort. Hello everyone and welcome to this video by IntelliPad. In this video, we will learn about ETL pipelines. Now let's take a look at the agenda. Firstly, we'll be seeing what is ETL. Next, introduction to ETL pipeline. Moving on with phases in the ETL. Then we'll check out traditional ETL versus cloud ETL. Next, moving on with ETL pipeline versus ELT pipeline. Then we'll see types of ETL pipelines. We will also check out benefits of ETL processes alongside challenges and drawbacks faced by ETL. Then we'll come back to conclusion. Before we begin, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates from us. So let us begin with what is ETL. The importance of utilizing the constantly generated data in analytics, data science and machine learning initiatives to derive business insights increases along with the amount of data, data sources and data types at companies. Since processing the raw, unclean data into clean, new, reliable data is a crucial step before these initiatives can be pursued, the need to prioritize these initiatives places growing pressure on the data engineering teams. ETL, which stands for Extract, Transform and Load, is a process used by data engineers to gather data from various sources, transform it into a reliable and useful resource, and then load it into the systems that end users can access and use later to address business-related issues. Introduction to ETL Pipeline So data is transferred from one or more sources to a database, such as a data warehouse, using a collection of procedures called an ETL pipeline. Three interrelated processes are used to move data from one database to another, extraction, transformation, and loading. An ETL pipeline, also known as a data pipeline, is used to carry out ETL operations. A group of tools and procedures called data pipelines are used to move data from one system to another where it may be stored and handled in a different way. Additionally, pipelines make it possible for data to be automatically gathered from various sources, transformed, and combined into a unique high-performance data storage. Now we'll look at the phases in ETL. First is extract. The first stage in this process is to extract the data from the target sources, which are typically heterogeneous and include, among other things, transaction databases, business systems, APIs, sensor data, and marketing tools. Clearly, some of these data types are semi-structured JSON server logs, while others are the structured outputs of commonly used systems. Three techniques exist for data extraction. First is partial extraction. If the source system alerts you, whenever a record is updated, you can easily acquire data. Second is partial extraction with update notification. While some systems are unable to inform you when an update has taken place, they can point you in the direction of records that have altered so that you can obtain an extract of those records. Third is full extract. It can be challenging to identify which data has been changed in some systems. The only way to get the data is to extract the complete system. You need a duplicate of most of the recent records in the same format to demonstrate the modifications made. Second is transform. The extracted raw data from the sources must now be converted into a format that can be used by a variety of apps. This phase's objective is to prepare the data for practical use by cleaning, mapping and transforming it. It entails a variety of transformations that ensure the accuracy and security of the data. Normally, data is put into a staging database first and then loaded into the target data source. You can simply roll back if something does not go as planned. You can make audit reports for legal conformance here 
or you can examine any data problems and resolve them. Third is load. The process of copying converted data from a staging area to a destination database which may or may not have previously existed is known as the load function. The requirements of the application will determine how simple or complicated this technique is. Each of these procedures can be finished using custom code or ETL utilities. Now we'll look at traditional ETL versus cloud ETL. In traditional ETL, conventional or traditional ETL is designed for completely on-premises data that is managed by a knowledgeable internal IT team whose responsibility it is to create and maintain internal data pipelines and its databases. It is typically built on lengthy batch processing sessions that enable data to be transported in scheduled batches, preferably during periods of low network traffic. Real-time research can be challenging. To extract the crucial analytics, IT teams frequently create extensive, labor-intensive modifications and strictly quality control. Businesses are also forced to choose between detailed data and quick performance because typical ETL systems battle to handle significant data volume increases. Coming to Cloud ETL. Cloud ETL, which is also referred to as modern ETL, takes both structured and unstructured data from any type of data source, whether it is on-premises or in the cloud, and combines, transforms, and loads that data into a centralized spot where it can be viewed whenever necessary. Cloud ETL is frequently used in a variety of business use cases to make data rapidly accessible to analysts, developers, and decision makers. Now we'll look at ETL pipeline versus ELT pipeline. Extract, transform, and load, which is ETL, and extract, load, and transform, which is ELT, are two distinct data integration processes that use the same steps in a different order to support various data management tasks. Both ELT and ETL extract raw data from various data sources, including spreadsheets, social media platforms, Internet of Things data, business resource planning platforms, and more. With ELT, the target data warehouse, data lake, relational database, or data store is then immediately loaded with the raw data. As a result, data change is possible whenever necessary. You can also import data sets directly from the source. After being extracted using ETL, data is specified and transformed to enhance data quality and integrity before being loaded into a data repository for use. ETL is the best option if you're building smaller, less frequently updated data repositories that must be kept for a longer amount of time. ELT is the ideal option for your use case if you're managing big data in real time and working with high volume data sets. Comparing the ETL and ELT pipeline in terms of parameters, in privacy compliance, redacting sensitive data before loading it into the destination system is an option in ETL, whereas in ELT, sensitive information has not been altered from the raw data that is submitted. Managing masking in the target system is necessary. In terms of order of the process, before being loaded into the target system, data is transformed at the staging location in ETL, Direct data loading into the target system occurs after the data extraction. The goal is in charge of the transformation steps in ELT pipeline. Moving on to the next parameter, maintenance requirements. Schema change administration and transformation logic might require more manual labor. In the data warehouse, where transformations are carried out, maintenance is handled in ELT. The next parameter is latency. In general, streaming ETL can reduce greater latency with transformations. Lower latency when there are few to no changes occurs in ELT. The next parameter is key focus. Putting info into databases where space on the computer is limited. Data transformation, data masking, data normalization, and in-flight database joining. Whereas in ELT, data warehouses are being loaded, immediately mapping schemas into the warehouse, separating the transform from the cargo and carrying out the transforms in the warehouse. The next parameter is data flexibility. Edge cases can be handled with personalized logic and guidelines to increase uptime. If not carefully prepared, generalized solutions for edge situations including schema drift and major resyncs may result in downtime or increased latency in ELT. The next parameter is scale of data. ETL could become a bottleneck if the system is not scalable and dispersed implicitly more expandable as the ELT tool undergoes less processing. 
The final parameter is analysis flexibility. It is necessary to identify use cases and report models in advance in ETL. With schema evolution, data can be introduced whenever you like. The target warehouse can be viewed in novel ways by analysts in ELT. Now we'll look at types of ETL pipelines. The latency of ETL data pipelines is classified. ETL systems most frequently use either batch processing or real-time processing. First, let's talk about real-time processing pipelines. Using real-time data pipelines, users can ingest organized and unstructured data from numerous streaming sources such as IoT, linked devices, social media feeds, sensor data, and mobile apps. A high-throughput messaging technology ensures accurate data collection. Data transformation is managed by a real-time processing engine like Spark, streaming to power application features like real-time analytics, GPS location tracking, fraud detection, predictive maintenance, targeted marketing campaigns, or proactive customer care. Now let's talk about batch processing pipelines. In traditional analytics and business intelligence apps, where data is routinely gathered, transformed, and transferred to a cloud data warehouse, batch processing is used. Users can easily transfer large volumes of data from separate sources into a cloud data lake or data warehouse and set up jobs for data processing with little to no human involvement. ETL in batch processing gathers and stores data during a period of time known as batch window in order to handle enormous amounts of data and repetitive tasks more effectively. Now let's talk about the benefits of ETL processes. ETL merging has a number of benefits including resource conservation. When storage costs are an issue, ETL can reduce the amount of data kept in the warehouse, enabling businesses to save bandwidth, compute and storage space. Cloud processing engines that have become commodities make this less of a problem. Second, enhances compliance. ETL can mask and remove confidential data such as IP or email addresses before delivering data to the data warehouse. Companies can adhere to regulations governing data privacy and security including GDPR, HIPAA and CCPA by masking, deleting and encrypting specific data. Third is high quality equipment. Businesses can use a variety of reliable tools to perform data extraction, transformation and loading which has been around for decades. This makes it much simpler to build and maintain an ETL workflow. Next is get to know the background of your business thoroughly. When used with an enterprise data warehouse, ETL gives your company historical context by fusing data from old platforms and apps with data gathered from new ones. Next is data migration to the cloud should be as straightforward as possible. By assisting you in moving your data to a cloud data lake or cloud data warehouse, ETL helps you increase data usability, application scalability, and security. Businesses now more than ever depend on cloud integration to improve operations. Next is allow any data with any delay to yield business intelligence. Businesses of today are required to analyze a wide range of data categories, including structured, semi-structured and unstructured data from a wide range of sources, including batch, real-time and streaming. You can discover new business opportunities and make wiser choices thanks to ETL solutions that make it simpler to extract pertinent insights from data. Next is deliver trustworthy and clean information for decision making. Utilize ETL tools to convert data while maintaining data lineage and traceability throughout the entire data lifecycle. This implies that all data practitioners, including data scientists, analysts, and line of business users have access to precise data regardless of their data requirements. Now look at some of the challenges or drawbacks faced. Businesses that use ETL must also manage a number of drawbacks such as Legacy ETL is sluggish because it calls for disk-based staging and changes. Second is regular maintenance. ETL data pipelines are used to handle extraction and transformation. However, they must be refactored. However, they must be refactored if analysts require other data types or if the source system starts to produce data in different formats or schemas. Third is higher upfront cost. By defining business logic and transformations, the scope of data integration endeavor can be increased. Instead of searching through various data sources, different operators can answer a question 
methodically and accurately when data is moved from one place to another. A well-organized ETL pipeline could enhance data administration. They also enable data managers to rapidly iterate to meet the business's fluctuating data needs. With that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Just a quick info guys. If you want to make a career in data engineering, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in data engineering associated with MIT. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.